So I thought I would do a Christmas tuck along for any of you that might be not quite so comfortable about the thought of sharing Christmas or even being Christ having Christmas on your own as you might like to be. So if you'd like to join me tapping, I'm just going to go through a whole range of things that might be causing a problem for you. And I hope you have a fantastic Christmas. So if you just start tapping your karate point, which is the side of your hand, and I just do it nice and gently, and I do that most of the work that I do, I do on that point these days. And occasionally I'll go around the other points just to finish off. So, even though I remember how Christmas used to be, and it really makes me sad that it's not like that anymore. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I remember all the people that used to be there at Christmas. And some of them aren't here now. And that makes me feel sad. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And all of those people. Even though sometimes Christmas was really traumatic. Bad things happened around Christmas time. And when it gets to Christmas it reminds me. And I go back into those feelings with only the resources that I have then. I choose to recognise that that was then and this is now. And I no longer need to feel those feelings. And I can have use of all my adult resources that I've gained since then. And maybe this year Christmas could be different. Even though Christmas has always been really difficult, my whole family has hated Christmas with a vengeance. I choose to be the one that finds ways to go through Christmas with enjoyment. Because that's more use to me and to everyone else. Even though living with my family over Christmas can be really traumatic. Every button I ever have had gets pushed by somebody. I choose to remember I can tap on that if it happens. I might even choose to tap before it happens. So that when they do their normal thing, it just floats past me. It has no impact on me. Because it's not actually what they do, it's how it makes me feel that's the problem. And I choose to take responsibility for my feelings this Christmas. Even though I may be spending Christmas on my own, and sometimes that can feel quite lonely, I choose to celebrate having that amount of time free. I can watch the films I want. I can eat chocolate all day if I want. I can eat turkey or not turkey. I can have smoked salmon. I can have prawns. I can have anything I like. Because it's my Christmas. And I choose to celebrate that. Even though my expectations are that Christmas should be perfect. And as I'm the one that's providing it, I should be perfect too. Maybe this year I could allow myself off the hook. Maybe I could let myself do it easily this year. Because the standards that I'm upholding are actually my standards. And although I'm trying to live up to what I expect other people to expect from me, really and truthfully, the one holding those high expectations is me. If I give myself permission to do things in a way that works for me so that I can have some fun, surprising how much that fits with everybody else too. Even though I've been beating myself up all these years because of not being able to meet, make it exactly what I wanted it to be, I choose not to do that any longer. I choose to make this the most fun Christmas that I've ever had. I choose whether I'm with people or not with people to be myself. To allow myself to do what makes me feel happy. When I feel good, then it's time to help other people feel good. And that will work really well. It's a bit like as they say on the plane, when the oxygen mask comes down, put it on you first. Because otherwise you're no use to anyone else. This is the Christmas I choose to have more fun, to experience more love, to have more laughter and more joy than I've ever had before. And I wish everyone, anywhere, the best of Christmases ever. 
I'm choosing to have the best of Christmases. I'm choosing this Christmas to be different. I'm choosing to set, let myself off the hook. Choosing to do it differently. It works for me. And if it works for me, it'll work for them too. Setting us all free so that we can have the best Christmas ever. A happy Christmas and a wonderful New Year to all of you. And don't forget to die.